It's done, yes, Dave, but everybody's getting used to it because we all have to do it, and the prices just keep going up. People are watching the gas pumps closely tonight, keeping tabs on what they are spending, knowing that at some of the pumps, the price per gallon has gone up more than 30 cents in the past 24 hours. I only fill the car when I have a half a tank because it's uh, so much money to fill it the whole thing. You hate to see a $100 bill go out in your car. I got to get to work tomorrow, but I don't fill it up. I got to have some cash in my pocket. At one Sunoco station in Riverview, at $4.13.9 for cash and $4.28 for credit, the owner says he's barely breaking even. No one was filling up tonight or even picking up a snack. I'm the owner. I'm working just so I, I don't have to pay employees because, I mean, we're not making money. Obviously, we don't make money off the gas. Uh, get the, and if you're not making, if people are not coming in to buy gas, people are not coming in to buy nothing from the store, and that's where you make most of your money. The experts tell us some refinery issues in Illinois have pushed the prices up in Michigan. They vary depending on the brand and location. And a leak in a major pipeline is reportedly in part to blame as well. But whatever the cause, it is the cost that has the drivers deciding what to do. I probably ride to work more with people, co-workers. I either have to get a, a job closer to home or I have to uh, get a smaller car. Now, the experts say if the refinery issues can get settled, they think the prices would go down. But if there's some other combination of factors, well, the prices could go up. Just have to do the best you can. You can see this last sale was $10. People are just not filling up. They're putting in what they can. Reporting live in Southfield, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News.